Ooh. I wonder if Jack would like to climb up on the jeans. Oh, one big happy lizard family. You hungry, buddy? Come on. All right, I see you, I see you. I'm trying to feed you though, come on. What is going on, beautiful people? Happy Easter, what is up? Guys, this is gonna be so cool. I'm unlocking the enclosure for the Siamese crocodile. We just delivered this female yesterday. This enclosure is huge. It's originally was made for a big bull alligator, which is still coming to the property. And this alligator is a bit underweight, so we're gonna put him in here and get him back up to his big weight. But for now, the Siamese crocodile is living in here. We're gonna slowly come in here and see if we can do our first training sesh with this crocodile. It's a, it's a it's a bit of a stretch. We just got the croc here, so for her to eat from me would be pretty amazing due to the fact we just transported her. See her head up? Look, she's right there. You interested? So if she does come to me for food, I want to make sure she knows she can't just run me down. So what I'm going to do is use the bucket as a barrier to keep her from just charging me. You hungry? Oh, she's spooked. Oh no, she's getting closer. Check this out. Look, she's getting closer. Woo! Come on. You want it? Good girl. Look at that. Oh, she's just, she's dipping out. So notice the water is really murky right now. The water's typically limited. the water's typically crystal clear, but she, all night she's been moving around, stirring up the clay and the muck, so it's really dirty. But the good thing about this enclosure, it always has water going in and water going out. So it stays warm and clean. So this will be clean in about a day when she starts to settle and quits digging so much. She just disappeared on us. <laughs> well, that was awesome. She came to me for food. She should pop up any moment and start eating that food because crocs have to bring their head above the surface to swallow their prey. They have a special valve in the back of their throat which keeps water from flowing into their lungs. So when she is ready, there she is. Did you just go and hide it? I think she let it go. Oh, look at this. There's the rat right there. Huh. All right, so she's hiding. She's hiding below the murk. We're just gonna let her be. What I'll do is I'll leave the rats right here, right there on the edge of the bank. Get another one out. Make sure she has some good meals so she starts to feel comfortable and know that I'm not her enemy. Four rats should be good. Four small rats. Ooh, there's like a little fuzzy right there. I can take it. Awesome. Siamese crocodile came to me for some food, but still a little bit shy. No surprise, she just got here. But you know who's not gonna be surprised? Jack the Lace Monitor and the King Cobras. They're pretty hungry. Let's go. Today's such a good day. I hope your day is as good as mine because life's too good. I mean, look at the sky. It's so beautiful outside. Happy Easter, guys. Hey, you know why the Easter Bunny hides his eggs? He's ashamed he's having sex with a chicken. Ooh. Let's go feed some snakes. What are you doing, baby? You hungry? Happy Easter. I got some little mouse fuzzies for you. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Come on. No. Oh, no. You're going to scream. Look, that's for you. Oh, there you go, Gamora, the green tree monitor, a beautiful little monitor lizard. I love her so much. Now that she has a big enclosure, I can possibly get a male. I can get a male right now, actually. There's so much space in here, but I think we're gonna wait, save our money. Maybe if somebody wants to donate a male green tree monitor, who knows? Maybe there's one out there that needs a home. Little Gamora could use a boyfriend. You gonna finish that food? I got more mice for you. Look, I got this for you. Come on, just one more. Ooh, there you go. Sweet little little dragon. She looks like the copies from the Jurassic Park movies. All right, I'm gonna put some more mouse fuzzies right here, right there on the log so she can get a nice full belly. She can only eat a few. Can't put too many in there, so let her be. I'll take the rest of these mouse fuzzies. We'll see what Jack's up to. Jack, what are you doing? What are you doing, my big bad boy? You wanna get some exercise? Oh, this glass is kinda stuck. All right, he can move around it. These old vision gauges can be a pain in the butt. Come on. 
Come on. Ooh, come on. Come on, stretch those legs. I know you're just sleeping. It's time to work out a little bit. Ooh, yo, you gotta be quicker than that. You gotta be quicker than that. Come on, come on, come on. Go! Quick as can be. Let's see. You're gonna, you got some nice uh, denim jeans, Justin. Uh, I wonder if Jack would like to climb up on your jeans. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. we almost got your finger. Oh my goodness. You signed the waiver when he first started working, so it's okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Watch your fingers, watch your fingers. Oh, that's some 3D footage right there. Let's hope he doesn't he doesn't detect that uh, mouse pinky you got right there in your jeans. Oh, Justin, just stand perfectly still. And I'll try to distract this monitor lizard with some eggs. You want an egg, Jack? Jack, look at this. Look at this. That's for you, buddy. That's for you. Let me get a little bit of that. That actually looks delicious. Mm. Oh, 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 just a little bit. Don't bite my finger. Last time you bit my finger, that didn't feel good. All right, you get a whole carton. You get all these eggs. You enjoy yourself. <laughs> Eat as many as you can. Okay, there we go. That's what we want. Ooh, delicioso. I'm about to go get some Gila. I'll be right back. Let me see if the Gila monsters want to eat with you. I'll be right back. Oh, hello, good sir. We, we didn't know you were having an Easter feast. Uh, we'd like to join you. Please, let's not fight. Let's not fight. We have venom. We will gang up on you. Watch out. All right, there we go. Everyone enjoy some eggs. I think we can all coexist and have a great meal together. Now that I have my lizard family with me, except for Mr. Bakes, he's outside. With all my lizard friends, we can hold hands and be thankful for this family we have. Kevin, you want in on this? What? You like to eat monitor lizards? Maybe not. Nothing like a good Easter family get together. Oh, okay. All right. Let's get you in there. Come on, everyone get some eggs. Everyone get some eggs. Everyone have a good time. Oh, nothing like hanging out with your animals. All right, while these guys are munching down the eggs, I'm gonna get a python ready. I have to cut a python in half because it's too big. And we'll go and feed the king cobras. Oh, venomous lizard going up my shorts. Come here. Don't you love Gila monsters? Venomous lizards? Uh, honestly, they're not too bad. I don't know why they call them monsters. They're not monsters at all. Kind of like a blue tongue skink, but with venom. Love them. Eat some eggs. They are so cute. Oh, one big happy lizard family. Did you guys know that Jack is also a venomous lizard? Not just these heel monsters, but lace monitors have actually been found to have primitive venom glands in their bottom jaw. So what's really interesting is certain monitor lizard species, if you get bit, it's nasty because they have serrated teeth, but also they have bad bacteria and a small concoction of a primitive venom. If he bites you, will it kill you? No, you'd be more worried about getting bled out by those nasty shark teeth, they're like shark's teeth. But it's so interesting to think that these two aren't the only venomous lizards on the planet. People used to think that the Gila monsters and the beaded lizards were the only venomous lizards on the planet and the Komodo dragon was either bacteria or venom. But the reality is that there's many monitor lizards that have bad bacteria and a small bit of primitive venom. All right, you guys don't even look like you're eating much. I'm just gonna take this little female in this cranky little male because these guys don't seem like they're too hungry right now. But Jack, he's eating everything. How you enjoying your eggs, huh? Let me give my little kitty a scratch. A little, a little back massage is what you deserve on this beautiful Easter day. You can slip on those eggs and I'll give you a little, little massage. We'll start with the shoulder. Get a little, get in those nuts. You gotta work them out. You gotta work them out. Looks like those legs have been working too good lately. Gotta massage those, those legs. Get those quads and glutes and, and uh, uh, Baba Canoose, get all those, mo oh, look at his, uh, he loves it. He's like, ooh, a little bit of neck massage, make you feel good, ooh, okay, okay, one more time. There we go, there we go, ooh, you got a little kink in your tail, I could, I could get that out for you, I could get that out for you, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. By the time I'm done with you, you're gonna be the loosest lizard around. Ooh, look at him tensing up. Nothing like a lizard massage. You like that? You like that? I love you. Want more eggs? Here you go. You got eggs for days, dude. You gotta finish this up. Well, the Easter Bunny's gonna come after your children. Slurping up them eggs. Look at him. <laughs> he's, he's inhaling the eggs right now. Oh my goodness. You're so funny, Jack. Monitor lizards have to be the coolest pet lizards out there. 
Sloppy boy. So cute. Let's get Jack inside the enclosure. Because next, the King Cobras are going to eat. All right, I'm going to clean up the floor. I'll see you guys in split. Guys, we're gonna feed the king cobras, give them a nice good Easter meal. Justina seems ready to go. Last time I tried to feed Justina, she was going through shed. I didn't notice the last second. So it's been a little while since she's eaten. Right here we have a Burmese python that was taken out of the Florida Everglades and donated. Really big one, so we cut it in half. Let's see, I think I'll give her the head because that's a little less for her to eat and Kevin can have the big chunk. Look at that big Burmese python. Love Burmese pythons, but they do not belong in the Florida Everglades. And the best thing to do is not let them go to waste. You try to feed them out to these king cobras. All right, Justina, don't fly out at me. All I'm doing is giving you some food. All right, I see you, I see you. I'm trying to feed you though, come on. Throw off at the lips, come on. Give it a taste. Woo! Here, I'm gonna back you up. Oh, oh, almost a death roll. Did you see that? Holy smokes. Let's see if she'll go after it. She might actually do a death roll. King Cobras will do death rolls when they grab a live snake and they'll venomate it and they'll death roll it so that it's disorientated while the venom takes effect. So let's see if we can get her maybe a death roll. She's not happy. There we go. All right, and now we can get this locked, secure, and uh, we'll give her a second to try and eat. Oh, Kevin, all right, well, we're not gonna wait for Kevin. Kevin wants his food now, apparently. There we go, nice big fat tail. Lots of good gut content right there for me. He's very opaque, so I'm not totally sure if he's gonna eat. Sometimes they'll eat when they're going through shit, sometimes they won't. You hungry, buddy? Come on, don't miss. <laughs> Let's be a little more accurate. Don't hurt Papa Chan. He's right there. He seems interested. He can taste it in the air with his tongue, but his vision is very poor right now. There we go. We just got the rest of that tail right in there. You can see he's very dull in coloration. It's kind of hard to tell because it's really dark in this enclosure, but he is super opaque. There we go. Just close that up nice and safe. All right, we're gonna give them a minute so they can get comfortable and start to eat. Hopefully we'll get some shots. For those of you guys who are wondering what's going on with the King Cobra enclosures, we're still doing it. I took a big pause on everything to build that gator enclosure because the gator that's supposed to go in that closure is a gator I've known my whole life. It needs a little bit of help right now. So Stone and I busted our butts, Justin busted his butt. We all came together to make that big exhibit. We're gonna release a video on how we built it out and everything, but I'm getting sidetracked. We took a step away from the King Cobra cages to do that. Now, in the next week, we're gonna be able to start making the King Cobra cages and it's gonna be worth the wait because these kings are gonna have the best King Cobra enclosures on the planet. It's almost as good as just being flat out wild because of how big these exhibits are gonna be and how natural they're gonna feel for the King Cobras. And once that's done and we get this gator over here too, we'll have a big bull gator, we'll have the King Cobra enclosure so we can show off the kings and we'll have the Eurasian Eagle Albagoy for flying. So that means we're gonna start doing tours. Oh yeah, comment below. Are you ready for a tour? Ooh. Oh, sorry guys. It's coming soon. Stay tuned. Oh, looks like the kings didn't want to eat for us on camera today, but that's okay because uh, they live here. We'll have plenty more opportunities to see them feast. Beautiful people, I love you so much. And thank you for supporting my wildlife. I'm gonna keep living it. I'm gonna keep having a good time. And I want you guys to comment below what do you guys want to see else on these tours? And comment below, what do you think we should name this new Siamese crocodile? I forgot to mention that in the previous episode. We didn't name her, so comment below, what do you think we should name this beautiful Siamese croc? All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe. Don't forget to check us out on Chandler'sWildlife.com so you can help support the build-out of this big, beautiful conservation facility. And I will see you soon, not just through videos, but hopefully soon in person on a tour. Ooh, <laughs> Yeah, baby. And also Dingo Dinkleman should be here in a week. So that's gonna be real fun collaborating with him. I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, and most of all, follow your dreams and stay passionate about what you guys love. I love animals and I surround myself with them every day.